inspiring persons in India. Shivkara. Shivkara is an Indian author of self help books and an activist. He launched a movement against caste based reservation in India. Founded an organization called Country First Foundation and started the Bhartiya Rashtravadi Samanta Party. In 2004, he lost in a bid as an independent candidate for the South Delhi constituency in India's general election. He also filed several public interest lawsuits in the Indian Supreme Court and unsuccessfully contested the country's 2009 general election. Born the 23rd of August 1961, age 58 years, Danbad. Nationality, Indian. Education, Sri Ram College of Commerce. Kara was born in a business family that operated coal mines, which were eventually nationalized by the Indian government. In his early years, he worked as a car washer, a life insurance agent, and a franchise operator before becoming a motivational speaker. While working in the United States, he was inspired by a lecture delivered by Norman Vincent Pale and claims to follow Pale's motivational teachings. Kera published his first book, You Can Win, Jitap Ki in Hindi, in 1998. Subsequent books that Kara authored include Living with Honor, Freedom is Not Free, and You Can Sell. 2010. When Freedom is Not Free was published, Amrit Lal, a retired Indian civil servant, accused Kara of plagiarism, alleging that content from that book directly came from his own book, Endure Enough is Enough, published eight years earlier. Additionally, he found that numerous anecdotes, jokes, and quotes in Kara's other books were also used without acknowledging proper sources. Kara countered that he took notes and inspirations from numerous sources and that he was unable to keep track of all of them. Lal finally accepted an out-of-court settlement for an undisclosed sum of money reputed to be 25 lakh according to Kara, which he said he would donate to the missionaries of charity. Kara founded Country First Foundation, a social activism organization whose mission is to ensure freedom through education and justice. During 2014 polls in India, he supported the Bhartiya Janata Party and campaigned for Lal Krishna Advani, a senior member of the party. Mansour Ali Khan Patodi Nawab Muhammad Mansour Ali Khan Siddiqui Patodi was an Indian cricketer and former captain of the Indian cricket team. He was the titular Nawab of Patodi from 1952 until 1971. When by the 26th Amendment to the Constitution of India, the privy purses of the princes were abolished and official recognition of their titles came to an end. Made captain at the age of 21, 
he has been described as one of India's greatest cricket captains. Patodi was also called the best fielder in the world during his time by commentator John Arlott and former England captain and contemporary Ted Dexter. Born in Bhopal, Mansour Ali Khan was a son of Iftikha Ali Khan, himself a renowned cricketer, and the Begum of Bhopal, Sajida, Sultan. His grandfather, Hamidullah Khan, was a last ruling Nawab of Bhopal, and his aunt, Abida Sultan, was a princess of Bhopal. K. Khusraw Jahan, the Begum of Bhopal, was his great grandmother, and Shera Khan, the chairman of Pakistan Cricket Board, was his first cousin. Educated at Minto Circle in Aligarh and Welham Boys School in Derridan, a Terak and Lockers Park Prep School in Hertfordshire, where he was coached by Frank Woolley and Winchester College. He read Arabic and French at Balliol College, Oxford. His father died while playing polo in Delhi on Mansour's 11th birthday in 1952, whereupon Mansour succeeded as the 9th Nawab. Although the princely state of Patodi had been merged with India after the end of the British Raj in 1947, He held the title until the entitlements were abolished by the Government of India through the 26th Amendment to the Constitution in 1971. Patodi Jr., as Mansour came to be known during his cricket career, was a right-handed batsman and a right-arm medium pace bowler. He was a schoolboy, batting prodigy at Winchester, relying on his keen eyes to punish the bowling. He captained the school team in 1959, scoring 1068 runs that season and beating the school record set in 1919 by Dalglass Jardine. He also won the Public Schools Records Championship with partner Christopher Snell. He made his first class debut for Sussex in August 1957, aged 16, and also played for Oxford while he was at university and was the first Indian captain there. On the 1st of July 1961, he was a passenger in a car which was involved in an accident in Hove. A shard of glass from the broken windscreen penetrated and permanently damaged his right eye. The surgeon named Dr. David St. Clair Roberts was called to operate on his eye and was praised by Patodi for saving one of his eyes. The damage caused Patodi to see a double damage and it was feared this would end his cricketing career, but Patodi was soon in the nets learning to play with one eye. Despite his eye injury, less than six months before, he made his test debut playing against England in Delhi in December 1961. He found it easiest to play with his cap pulled down over his damaged right eye. He scored 103 in the third test in Madras, helping India to its first series win against England. He was appointed vice-captain for the tour to the West Indies in 1962 